Guys, welcome to Army Golf Club. Now, unless you've been living under a rock and you live in the UK, you will know that the temperature has slightly risen over the past week or so, but there's one or two reasons why we do not complain about how hot it is. Number one is because we were used to practicing in this. Morning, guys. It's 20 past seven, minus four degrees, and boy, are we ready to go ice skating. And number two is that you can't get a sexy ass golfer's tan without it. I mean, that's awful, isn't it? Like, how white am I? <laughs> anyway, it's very hot today. I'm at Army Golf Club. I've got a 36-hole tournament um, on Wednesday this week. So I've come, it's the afternoon on Monday. I've come for a practice round. And yeah, we're going to see, I've played it before. We're going to see what it's like, if it's changed at all. Um, the last time I was here, it was quite firm. Um, but the course is in always great nick when I've been here. Um, there's some really interesting holes which I'd love to show you, show you the golf club um, and see what you guys think of it. Now the last time I did an 18 hole course vlog, it got so much love. I listen to you guys. I listen to you guys. I want to provide the content that you guys want to see. So today we are doing a full 18 holes around army. I'm going to show you all the shots, everything that I played, my thoughts of the place and how I'm going to approach Wednesday for the 36 hole marathon that's going to be. It's going to be so hot. I never use a trolley ever. I love carrying, but I'm going to have to bring a trolley. I'm going to have to bring about 15,000 litres of water with me, food, a lot, because it's going to be a slog. So, um, yeah, it's going to be a similar kind of temperature as today. So preparing um, for the tournament is just going to be just as key as obviously playing good golf. So why not? Let's get at it. Let's go and play some good golf. So in terms of working on my game, um, I have the practice has been limited in terms of all the stuff I've been trying to get in. Obviously, I did a couple of videos with Alex and Brett throughout the week. Um, coaching's been mental, work's been mental stuff in just general life has been mental um but it's been it's all been very productive it's all been good but in terms of practicing my game um in terms of hours spent just chipping putting and whatnot um it has subsided uh, i haven't gotten as much as i would like to since petersfield now petersfield gave me a massive boost if you don't know i shot four over um even with a relatively uh, wobbly middle bit um, and still not obviously the best scoring but in terms of the way I handled myself on the golf course it was a lot better. So um, coming into this event or coming to Army I've been really looking forward to playing it which I haven't had that feeling for a very long time. Um, confidence is very high in my swing in my ability into where and I'm not actually scared off the tee anymore which is obviously what we were working on through the winter so that's all really good um, and yeah I mean we'll go throughout today obviously I birdied the first the par five there and um, you'll just see a difference in my game um, I don't want to give any spoilers but this is uh, this is quite possibly the best round I've had of this year and all for a very long time around another golf course anyway in terms of the way I hit it, wedge play, putting, just everything. Um, putting I'm so much more happier with and really for me with the putting is that I'm practicing my putting um, just as if I was out on the golf course. So I'm out on the putting green and I'm marking my ball, lining it up, going through my routine, hitting a putt. Did it go in? Yes. Brilliant. Did it not? Okay, why not? And that's made a massive difference because actually, in reality, when I've gone to a tournament and then you think, oh, take it all seriously, you're lining your ball up, you're going through your routine. Actually, when I looked over the golf ball in my past tournaments, I can't trust the line on the ball because for me, it looks like it points left, like massively. Um, and then predominantly, I then go and push the ball because I'm scared I'm going to miss it low side or whatnot. In reality, I need to trust the line, basically. You'll see me hit the pass. I had some bad putts today, don't get me wrong. Just, but that wasn't to do with the line, it was to do with the pace. And at the same time, I hold a lot of good putts as well. Um, I'm just going to have to go around army with the putt, trust where I've marked it, trust my line, hit a good stroke, bam, you're in. So that par four there, what a, what a hole that is. You've got to draw one around the corner. I made a great birdie there. Um, and the wedge play again, that's improved massively. Just confidence in just hitting the shot. Um, trusting the yardage and now I'm giving myself birdie chances from 100 yards rather than missing the green and again good birdie here again I mean I got off to a flying start I'm two under and they're two holes that par three and par four just brutal um, and they're holes that if I can even walk away with a par I'd be happy with on the day there's definitely other holes that I could be making up birdies on 
three iron was leaking a bit three iron was leaking right a bit even though i was trying to hit these fades with the three iron they were leaking a touch so i'm gonna have to be careful on those don't want them obviously going out right might have to close the club face down a bit more um and yeah just everything part of my game here this little chip i put it exactly where i wanted to it's all the way downhill there's no way i could have got it really to stop to be safe without like obviously leaving it short of the green there's no way i could have left that short and not be closer to the hole and again solid putt up the hill trust the line um at this point i was thinking um what what's going on <laughs> quite to be quite honest because everything was going right it felt like all parts of my game were starting to work together um my tee shots very comfortable this like tricky like 55 yard wedge shot out the rough i had to land it short of the green let it roll up and you'll watch me in a minute literally shake my head in disbelief because i've just put it to a foot and i'm like what's going on like all of a sudden everything's working i've now got a tap in i'm now going to go three under um and yeah just all of a sudden confidence is just at all time high i actually met up with two other guys it was quite slow in front of us so two other guys joined me on this hole um and I leaked one out massively left. I've tried to hit a really hard 9 iron. It should have just been a soft 8 iron. But again, even from this lie here, there's a load of pine cones. I knew where I needed to land it. Um, you can see me trying to work the club face a lot more into out or into in, I should say. Trying to get that club to finish at the target rather than exit left. And again, I've hit a quality little chip there. It's just released to the flag. And um, yeah, and then from then on, I've gone and uh, hit a solid putt here. So the plan for Wednesday, because obviously um, if I hit it this well on the day, then that's great. But obviously this is going to be the added pressure. I feel like I've got a bit of tournament experience now. I feel obviously, and I keep using the word confident, but I do feel confident. I feel like I'm going to have a very good night's sleep the night before. Um, I feel like I can flood my subconscious with all these good shots that I'm hitting. And um, I think I've just got to stay within myself 100% um, on the day. So the plan is um, be... I'm just going. To, I'm not going to play conservative golf. I'm definitely going to take driver out a lot. I'm definitely going to be leaving myself the wedge shots. And if I do hit an like erratic tee shot for whatever reason, I'm timing, whatever. Um, I'm just going to deal with it then and there and go right next hole. There's obviously a few holes like this one, for example. You can hit a four iron. That's not even a four iron. I probably should hit a five iron there because it does bring those bunkers into play if I do hit it. Because the ground is quite firm, but the greens are very soft. So I'm hitting wedge shots in, and um, the course is in great nick. Like it's just throwing darts in there, and you can go right at the flag, and it's going to stop and check. Which is obviously as hard and bouncy, or how dry the weather has been. It's obviously very good to see that they've kept the greens this receptive. Um, so it's very scorable. Now, obviously, erratic tee shot here. This is a prime example. So I've blocked one massively right. This is a very tough par four, um, but somehow it's come out to the fairway. I can't believe this is actually my ball. This is obviously the golf gods are looking down on me today. Which can't be. That was so far blocked right. Oh, I can see the green line. I can't even believe it. Boys, it's my day. We're going sub 70. So I did take a provisional, obviously I hit the trees, got lucky, it did come back out, but I obviously didn't see the ball come out first because I didn't even bother to look down the fairway because it was so far in the trees. So obviously it was lucky. I hit a provisional, absolutely spanked one down there. Um, so again, I think I'm just gonna go hell for leather. Obviously the course management does come into play some places, but when I'm hitting the tee shots as well as I am at the moment, um, I don't think there's a time to be conservative. Like even here, for example, par five, I faded one around the corner and I repeat, I faded one around the corner. I'm just opening my shoulders, open my feet, bring the ball further forward in my stance just to create more of that out to in um, swing path. And yeah, just slotted one nicely around the corner and it's just drive at eight iron into this par five. It does say par four, but it is definitely a par five, I can tell you. And um, yeah, just everything's just, I don't know, just, I don't know if it's scary is the right word, um, but I imagine obviously this is what players, when they're playing well or in form, obviously play like. Um, but I couldn't do anything wrong. Um, and it's just lovely to see. I really hope that on Wednesday that I can bring this to the table. Um, I'd love to go and play and swing the ball, hit the ball, putt the ball, chip the ball as well as I did um, because it will just pay off all the work that I have put through the winter. Um, I don't think to this point um, we've necessarily seen a massive um, 
like spike in terms of like scoring or ability and um, it would just be great for me to obviously go out and put a really respectable score together on Wednesday especially in the heat um, and playing my first 36 hole event for quite a while so really happy with everything that's going on obviously I was getting a bit tired at this point in the round it started um, everything started getting a bit loose and I think that's why it's important that I'm taking a trolley taking loads of water taking loads of food because um, towards the end of this 18 holes I was literally just done for um, so it's really important in terms of the nutrition side of it um, to really keep um, I can't let myself down just through preparation really there's no point in me being going um, good guns at the start and then letting it slide towards the end and everything just got a bit more sloppy towards the end still good golf <laughs> I'm better than I've definitely been in the past um, but this would be another bogey um, but this is my second bogey for the day um, and around a golf course that is it's not relatively tight I wouldn't say however um, if you do hit like a big one right or left which I have been known to in the past um, all of a sudden you're in big danger so you have the fairways are relatively generous the roughs relatively generous however if you do hit that like card wrecker then it is a card wrecker and you won't be finding it and a double or worse will be then on the card now some guys let me play through here so you will give me a slap on the wrist because um, even though scoring was good I actually just sloppily like just tap this uh, two putts in but it's still two putts to the par um, but yeah that's probably not the most professional probably should have um, just lined it up and played it properly but what a hole this is ridiculous like four yeah 430 got to bend one around the corner into this tiny little shoot um, to give yourself a chance at the green I couldn't have played that shot better with my three on and then I've left myself a nine on into the flag just tugged it a bit just pulled it a bit left but the difference between my game this time last year to where I am now is just uh, just another level I'm I'm looking forward I'm excited I'm ready to go for Wednesday um, what the score in will be will be but I know that there's going to be birdies there I know there's going to be a lot of good shots there um, just because they're can't not be if that makes sense if I just play my game the way it should be um, there's just no chance I'm not going to come away with um, a score that I'm happy with or not necessarily a score but a performance that I'm happy with I should say anyway um, and yeah just like even here for example I've hit a relatively decent chip it has run out a bit more than I wanted to however but then I spent a lot of time looking at the putt both ways and just slotted it back into the hole and they're the things that go keep my round going I've been missing a lot of those this year a lot of six footers and now sort of my putting out it just takes a lot of pressure off the rest of your game because all of a sudden you're like okay well if I just get it with inside six foot I've got a great chance and then that relays to your seven irons and your wedges and all of a sudden there's less pressure on your game two under I finished up in the end great score for me if I do anything like that on Wednesday, I'll be thrilled and over the moon. And it will obviously be really good going forward um, for the rest of my season. So guys, there you have it. What a golf course. Quite possibly the best I've ever played around another golf course. Nothing really counts around your own golf course when no one's watching. Um, I'm exhausted. I'm done. I've got to really prepare for um, Wednesday in terms of taking a trolley, two litres of bottle of water, each 18 holes, making sure that I've got enough food because the front nine was superb, quality front nine, back nine was also very good but a lot of chances missed and uh, I think I could have definitely let a lot more parts go inside, <laughs> I'm so exhausted, it's been so hot today um, but it's been good. My confidence level is so high. Um, I've never hit it that well. And all my game really come together as well. So I'm really looking forward to Wednesday. Seems to be going in the right direction. So thank you guys for your support. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Wish me luck for Wednesday.